Alright guys, the morning I decide not to make a video, I shoot and kill a deer. I don't know really how big he is, I think he's a smaller buck, but um, it's only about 30 minutes after daylight. And yesterday, about 500 yards according to my own ex map, uh, I shot a big buck. I walked out to this big bottom I've never been in. And I was just following the map because, you know, I said it's deep in the woods and nobody's ever been down here. And I seen a big one about 100 yards away, so I shot him, high shoulder shot. He turns around and starts running through the swamp. Well, it's not really swampy, but it's, you know, it's pretty mushy. And I can tell he was hit hard. So I gave it a few minutes. I walked up to where I shot him, found blood everywhere, good, bright red blood. Then he cut off into the woods. Well, I went up in the woods, it was just blood. And then next thing I know, nothing. Couldn't find a drop of blood anywhere. But we searched for four hours. So I think what he did was he kind of did like a circle and cut back up into the thicket. So we east out of there and we're going back down there today. But boys, I got one on the ground. I'm excited. He's laying right there, if you can see. Right there. I was just sitting here grunting, and I just out of the corner of my eye seen something walking through here. And then he got to right there, and I just threw up my gun right in the brush and shot at the Joker. All right, guys, he was laying right here. My stand's way up there. I kind of had to shoot through uh, some of this stuff. There's not a drop of blood, just like yesterday. So I'm switching from these Horn of the XTPs to something else. Not a drop of blood. I get up and I spook him. So I show you. he was laying, he was bedded up. Cause I dropped him. I don't know where exactly where I hit him. So I threw up and shot him again. He gets up and he runs. And not a drop of blood. And I thought my heart sank. I said, you gotta be kidding me. Not another deer with no blood. He ran all the way over here. I finally hear some blood, some chunks of blood. And so now blood's starting to pick up. That second shot was the killer. And now I'm about to go down here and try to find my other deer. Because he's bigger than this one. But that horny XTP did good on that little deer I killed the other day. It was blood everywhere. But this one. It wasn't as good. I'm tickled to death, boys. Public land deer. Nice buck. You see the two shots? The first one was right there in that shoulder. I don't know why that didn't kill him. The second shot was a little bit back because he moved right when I walked up on him because he was bedded up. But I'll take it. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He's got a little point sticking off that one over there. Pretty buck. Guys have been hunting for a long time, never killed a big deer. I know to some of y'all this is not big, but to me, I'm mounting him. <laughs> He's beautiful. Grinding them in about 20 minutes after daylight. And um, the old $100 muzzle loader did work. It's just someone had to figure something out about these bullets and why they ain't uh, producing more blood than they are. All right, guys, I'm going to look for my big one I shot yesterday. I'm telling you, I found this spot, and it is hot down here. I'll show y'all. These bottoms are running, and there's scrapes and rubs everywhere. And so I figured I'd come up here and hunt before I went down here to search for this big one. I wasn't even expecting to see anything. And this one shows up. <laughs> but, I mean, it'd be nice to have a stand down here. This is the direction it came in. There's a swamp bottom right over there. And so them deer stay in it and they run these ridges. I got the 1911 because I'm completely out of ammo. So now I know to stock up on some other loading ammo. I could have shot two more does after I shot that one. So wish me luck if we can find this big one I shot yesterday. I'm praying to God I do. I'm getting close to where I killed that, shot that deer yesterday. Y'all see that bottom out there, it opens up. You get 100 yard shots either way. I found this yesterday on the map. It's all public land. It is amazing. 
you gotta walk way down here to get to it, but I'm excited that I found a new place to come chase these big bucks in. Cause that one I just killed, don't compare to that one I shot yesterday. So God, please help me find it. Slim chance, but you never know. All right guys, right here is the last place I found blood yesterday. Of course, there's a lot more blood than this that was here. As soon as the leaves it kinda got wet. But he stopped right here. We walked up in there. We walked over here. Look at that. That right there was not even rubbed yesterday. A bug's been down here rubbing that right beside where this deer I shot yesterday. It's crazy. And he might have went back to the bottom. See, I shot him about 100 yards that way. It opens up into the bottom. He was over here. He ran straight this way cut back up through here and then stop so I have no idea which direction he went in because we couldn't find blood anywhere so my dad thinks that he might have ran back this way because I was walking out this way looking so I'm going to head back to the way I shot him at if I don't find him and I'm going to ease back this way because I seen some does acting awful funny standing over here yesterday in this tick bottom so I got my boots on we're going to see if we can't try to find him too Quick disclaimer, I just got to thinking, I've never seen a rub that high. And I realized my dad took a knife yesterday and marked that, so I, I don't want to feel stupid, so I wanted to correct that real quick. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can see that orange hat right there. That's my hat from yesterday where I shot him at, on the mark where first blood was. So he ran this way, cut back up in these woods, so now I'm just trying to see if he didn't circle around on me and bed up in this stuff. Cause he was hit good so let's keep looking i mean look at this this is just like big buck sanctuary i mean you got almost 200 yard shots through some of these lanes i mean it's absolutely amazing i got on that map yesterday and i said you know what i've been hunting black bottom that's what we call it behind the lake for 22 years and nobody ever hunts on this side of the lake and I looked at the map and said, you know what, that looks really good. So I'm just going to take the time, walk back in there. It's a long walk. But boy, is it worth it. I'm thinking about putting the stander over here on one of these trees because you can watch this whole bottom right here. I mean, look how far a shot you got. It'd be perfect for a gun season. And then you have them coming off these ridges down in here. And it's pretty thick back up in that way. About, I think I calculated it on my own, own X app. I'm 500 yards from where I killed that buck. So they're just running these bottoms and then coming out in here. That one was chasing a doe yesterday. But I'm still looking, boys. I ain't gonna give up just yet. But it ain't looking too good. I was bragging on that Hornady XTP. I don't really think it's the bullet that was a problem. I think it's the grains. I'm only using 100 grains of powder and it worked good on that one deer I killed. It was a pass through, but these that buck I just killed a minute ago, no blood. I think it's the, uh, I need to jump up to 150 grains of powder if I'm gonna shoot far because, uh, I'm not getting no blood, so I don't know. Something I have to figure out. Tell me what y'all think. Picture perfect. Well, guys, I've been looking for about an hour again. Looked for about four or five hours yesterday. I can't find that deer. We're just going to wait next week, see if we can see some uh, buzzard circling and go to that area. See if we can't recover his horns. But my daddy told me yesterday, he said, son, don't give up. It's happened to me before. And I said, well, you know what? I'm just about to go back to playing golf. Forget this. I was aggravated and uh, then this morning I shoot the biggest buck I've personally ever shot it may not be big to y'all but guys to me I've been hunting a long time but this is the first year I really put in the time of scouting and looking around and putting in the time of uh, finding good spots and being patient and it paid off so thank y'all for watching let's get back up here to the four-wheeler and get this buck loaded up and I'll give y'all a closer look at him in the truck